What's up everyone, so today we're going to go ahead and do a disassembly on the Alienware Era 51M. Now this will be a full disassembly up to the CPU, so first you want to go ahead and remove the two screws on the back of the laptop. We're going to turn it over and there are a few screws on the bottom that need to be removed. So we're going to go ahead and remove these. They don't come off all the way, they stay on the panel. So don't try and remove them all the way and then we're just going to pry open the panel. It'll take a little bit of effort if it's your first time opening the laptop, but if you've opened it many times, it shouldn't be that hard. So next, we're going to go ahead and remove the battery. So there's a few screws to remove the battery. We're going to go ahead and remove those. And once you remove the battery, we need to remove the cable as well. So we're going to go ahead and pull this cable, and we're going to route it out of this little chassis. And I'm also going to disconnect the hard drive cable, but not the hard drive. We don't need to remove it. So there's screws here. That needs to be removed for the rib cage, but before that, we're going to remove the bottom cover. So there's four screws for the or back cover, I guess. So we're going to remove these screws, and we're going to remove some of these cables because there's some cables that are connected to this piece. So there's two cables, and well, actually, only one looks like. Okay, so we're going to remove that. We're going to remove the Wi-Fi cards and reroute the cables out. There's another cable we need to remove out, and here's another one. I'm just going to go around the whole chassis to see if there's any more cables remaining. I believe that's all the cables. Yeah, so that looks like it's all the cables. So we're going to want to get to the rib cage. So we're going to remove the SSD next with the heat sink. And next we'll remove the RAM. Although, I don't think you need to remove the RAM to remove the rib cage, but we'll remove it anyways. And finally, we're going to remove the back cover piece. And I'm going to just remove these wires a little bit, right them to the back. There's a little hole in the corner here where the wires come from, so I'm just going to go ahead and remove them and put them into that little area. So now, we finally open the rib cage. There's 15 screws total. And they're labeled right here. There's 14 of one size and one of one size. You'll know which one's which. They're all actually labeled, so that's a really good thing. Alienware really wanted people to be able to open this laptop. So that makes things much easier. So I'm just going to rotate this around, remove the screws that are stuck. And once we do that, the rib cage should come right out. If it's a little bit stiff, it's, it should come out with a little bit of force, but not too much force. So now we finally get to see the heat sinks. So the fans on this model is the 2080 and 2070, I believe, come with this. There's fans and they're connected with the heat sink, but we're going to remove the fan cable and the fan screw, one on each fan. Then we're going to go ahead and remove all eight screws off the heat sink. And once we've done this, the heatsink should just pry right open. It actually wasn't that hard to pry it open, probably because it's a fresh system. Wow. So this thing is quite heavy, actually. That's good. As you can see, here's the heatsink. So we're going to go ahead and put this aside. And now we're going to clean the thermal paste with isopropyl alcohol. So I'm going to do the CPU first. Got to get it nice and clean for your new application. And then I'm going to go ahead and get the GPU next. Just make sure the die is nice and clean. Now, at this point, don't forget to also do the heat sink because there's also thermal paste on there. So go ahead and clean that. All right. So now, as you can see, the heat sink is clean. This is where we're going to do the new thermal paste. But I'm going to use Thermal Grizzly Carbonaut because I wanted to try out this product. So I'm going to have a separate video on this, so you guys can watch that video to see how the performance is, but for this, all you have to do is just apply it onto the GPU die and CPU die. But in this situation, you guys can also use thermal paste if you want. So now, we're going to go ahead and connect the heatsink again. So I'm just going to align it, and then press down on the heatsink, and screw everything back in order. There's numbers on the heatsink for the order number. And with that, we're going to now start putting everything back with the fan screws and the fan header. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the rib cage back on. 
basically we're going to do everything backwards. So if you know how to do it, you can go ahead and stop watching. If you don't know, then we can go ahead and do this. So we're going to go ahead and put the wires back in for the Wi-Fi card. Just route them into the little plastic piece. There's little routes for each wire. I'm going to put the Wi-Fi card in first. And with that in, I'm going to go ahead and put the SSD in next. So SSD first, then the heatsink goes on top with the screw. I'm going to go ahead and put the hard drive connector back in and all the other connectors. This is a good time to make sure everything's connected. And then we can put the RAM back in. And now we can put the back cover back in and just connect the wires and put all four screws back in. Okay, so now let's put the battery back in and the connector. And with that, we've pretty much got everything. Now we just gotta put the back cover back in. So there's a few screws and you also have to click it in, just press down a little bit and then you got the back cover on. Don't forget about the two screws on the back cover. Once you have these two screws in, that's basically everything. You've basically disassembled and reassembled your Air 51M laptop. I hope this quick little video helped you do your laptop. And if you have any questions, go ahead and ask in the comments. And like always, subscribe. Thanks for watching.